time to settle things like men and go three rounds. Jordan and I will hit on three different topics in the world of mixed martial arts. Our producer, Danny Bailey, as always, will be the third man in the ring. Three rounds tonight is powered by Mad Kingdom Insane Supply Company. Check them out at themadkingdom.com. All right, ring us up, Danny. Like that dramatic pause. That was smooth. <laughs> Triller Fight Club presents Legends 2 on September 11th when 48-year-old Oscar De La Hoya meets 44-year-old Victor Belfort. Where does this fight rank on your care, don't care meter? If TRT Tour enters the cage, <laughs> oh, geez. Oscar De La Coca leaves <laughs> on a stretcher. <laughs> Good Lord, he went there. It's very low. However, it's very high on my, I'm extremely worried about Oscar De La Hoya getting killed in this fight. His face Meter. might get caved in. It, it, I mean, 2008 was the last time he fought and he lost to Pacquiao. 2008, 13 years later, he's coming back and he does, he's not in good shape. He has not, he has, he has not taken care of himself. We not know in the slightest. No. He's had more powder than a hostess donut. And, and Belfort, ding, Belfort could, could destroy him. Here's the other thing. This is not a Logan or Jake Paul boxing exhibition. This is r the real deal. For Eight real. rounds. For real. And if you look at it this way, as I've already so uh, quaintly put, Oscar has done a lot of substances that take years off of your life. Vitor is also a fan of modern chemistry, but Vitor's fix so of choice... True puts prime years back on the clock. Yeah, Not just yeah. puts years, but puts prime years back on the physical performance clock. Not yeah. a good recipe. It, it, yeah. And that's a man who once fought at 230 you, pounds. Physically enhances you in many areas, except one that really matters. But that's my opinion. Um, I'm going to let you stay with that one. Man, and how is this sanctioned? Good Lord. California State Athletic Commission. What Should be is criminally going investigated. On? Unbelievable. All right, let's move on to round two. Did TJ Dillashaw's split decision win over Corey Sandhagen earn him the next shot at the bantamweight title? Good question. Well, it shot him up, no pun intended, in the rankings. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, Man, why, how did this, this has just become a 100% drug-related uh, segment today. Um, so Dillashaw, after his two-year suspension, he comes in, he wasn't ranked, of course, gets the split decision win, shoots up to number two in the rankings. To my, my opinion, I'd like to see him fight again because I was not, it, it, give, him another, give him another fight before he gets the title fight. Of course, you know, Jan and um, Sterling are going to battle and redo uh, their rematch coming up in October. I don't think he gets it right away. I'd like I'm to gonna see I'm going to say hell fight. no. You're meaning to tell me that he deserves a shot over Rob Bont? I didn't say that. If, I said if, he needs another fight. That, that's what I'm saying. Anybody out there who's clamoring for it. You, you want people out there on the internet <laughs> so saying, oh, angry. TJ should be right back in the mix. When you have a guy no. like Rob Font who has been starching everybody in the path, yeah. there is no chance. What is he? He is now number four, I believe, in that. Correct. Yes, four. So, yeah, I, 100%. I like it. Make the fight Dillashaw versus Font, and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, final round. Does former UFC heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic deserve better from the promotion? And are his threats to leave legit? I think that Stipe has been unfairly treated in the, uh, the course of the last few years. Stipe is the greatest heavyweight of all time in the UFC. And for him to, I said it a couple weeks ago when we spoke about the interim matchup, for there to be one of those two guys and it not be Stipe fighting for the belt... I have a problem with that. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. 100%. His beef is legit. Yeah. 38-year-old that has done so much for the heavyweight division. He's not even involved in First responder interim. who worked through the pandemic. Yeah. And still working. Still doing. I don't like how he's being treated. He sent out that cryptic tweet about, you know, maybe I'll go over to one. That's not going to happen. But he has every right to, uh, to be upset in this situation. That's my take. Completely agree with you. All right, 
No one got injured. That's crazy. Wow, I thought it was going to get real ugly in here tonight. Some feelings were hurt. Some needles were exchanged. But maybe not. I don't know. I don't know about that. More one. powder than uh, powdered donuts. Is that what it was? More, More powder pow- than a hostess donut. Hosted donut. Well done. Man, you were on fire tonight. Well done, sir. And so was, uh, so was our producer, Danny Bailey, as always. Special thanks to denversportsbetting.com founder, Ryan Garcia. The big man made it in today. Look at him. Oh, yeah. We're Take, doing big things here. Now the yeah. truck's back in studio. Yeah. We, big things. Big things. I appreciate that. And, and way to hold down the fort, by the way. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, if you want to listen to the MMA plug anytime, go to uh, Spreaker.com, search for the MMA plug, or find it on the DenverSportsBetting.com website for Danny, Ryan, Jordan, I'm Ron Kruk, and that is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. little thick bitch, fine little mama Sita. Always coolin' by the pool, drinking margaritas. Yeah, it's pippin' over here, and we ain't trippin' over pesos. I know it's good now, but luego. <laughs>